Hey everyone, as you can see, slightly different start to the video today. As you can tell, I'm at an airport. I'm currently in Alicante, waiting to fly home back to East Midlands. Uh, it is currently half nine at night. Uh, I've just been away from Bendor for a few days for a friend's stag do. I was going to do a video why I was out there for the Notts County Bradford away win. I'm, we needed it. We needed the points. I'm not going to make this whole long intro to talk about Bradford, but I said we needed it and made long. I hope it continues with tomorrow's game, which will be today's because the video is regarding for the Salford game. I am meeting Jack uh, uh, down to the stadium later. Um, but yeah, guys, I just, I just kind of wanted to say we needed that win. Uh, yeah, I really hope it does continue. I hope again today's game is going to be uh, another win, another victory. Let's keep going strong now. We've got eight games left till the end of the season. Um, but yeah, guys, I will see you once I've landed, once I've uh, met with Jack at Notts County. All right, bye. As you can see, my flight is the last flight of the night. It is the last plane leaving this airport. God, can you imagine if I missed it? Stuck here all night. I actually almost did. My first coach to the airport didn't turn on, but made it with plenty of time. Also, as well, just before we do jump in the Salford game, I've watched Macca's interview, and it's really got me starting to think towards the end of the season, who's going to stay, who's going to go. I definitely want to hear your comments in uh, in the chat. Um, I'm going to say this really early, and I will talk about it in a later video. But I think Maka has already made his decision that he will be leaving at the end of the season. Go and watch his interview. He says two very key words, and I think that that's how I know that he's going. Let me know what you think. Guys, so we are here, we are finally at the ground. Uh, score predictions, as I said, Jack, always you go first. 4 2 County, I'm praying. 4 2 County. I think we'll get a win today. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 3 2, not County. I think it's going to be a close game. I think we will go, we will go from first, um, but I think we'll make some mistakes in the second half. What are you saying? You reckon it'll be 2-2 two, two, and then we score the third goal? Do you think it'll be 3-1, three, 3-0? One, three, you know? I think potentially it could be 1-1 one, one at half time. And then I think the second half will then get 3-2. I reckon it'll be 3 at half time, can't we? That's all right. Come on, you boys. You boys.
start almost almost 15 minutes in um again so far we've looked pretty all right we've been on the attacking side not too much like i said we've had a, you know a free kick good few crossings but nothing really to shout home about but a yeah, um, 15 minute mark again looking quite strong hopefully we can continue the run jody jones is again making them runs We have just hit the 30 well 31 minute mark. Salford have scored a very easy goal. A poor touch from Sam Austin. Kindly left it, went straight to their player. Cameron was the only one that could kind of take him on, went round him, hit the posting in. Good goal, sloppy defending. We won no down again at home. Same story. <laughs> So we're about 40 minutes in, just five minutes to the 45 minute mark. Again, Salford been all over for the past five minutes. We just had a good little attack, but again, it leads to nothing as per usual. We are still 1 0 down. Again, it's such a shame because we started off really strong, but it just seems that Salford have started to read our patterns, read how we play, and they really given us hardly any chance to move at all. So 1 0. Salford. They've got a free kick again, poor defending again from Knox. This goes in, might as well be game over. Let's see. So they've just given it it's two minutes at a time. Um, yeah, pretty standard. I wouldn't really give any more than that with what's been going on. But like I said, Salford have been all over us the past 10 15. We started off strong. But they're so quick at closing us down and cutting out our room. It's Chicksons crossing it in. Again, it's to no one. We're just crossing all these balls in and it's going nowhere. I think, and it, it just seems to be that every play, not as player gets a ball, there's two or three men around him and he's got no space to breathe at the minute. One, Dan Crowley crossing it in. Gone. Again, it goes completely nowhere. Yeah, well, we've got one minute left. Right, the first half is over. Jack, I'm going to let you go first, as always. I don't know what we're doing. It's. What? Austin's mistake. Chicks is on the pitch. Chicks has been awful. I'd rather have a man on this. It's bad. Oh, we need two 30-year-old players on the pitch. Bostock. Rawlinson we need on. No. Bostock we need on. I don't know about Rawlinson. O'Brien we need on. But like I said, it's it's been it's been a really it's been a shit first half. Um it, I, I don't I said to you, I said I don't know what it is. Is it because we're not clicking when but yeah we've had such a great season last season or do the players just not care anymore or is it the manager's tactics i generally don't know anymore may not that 
Do you know what? I, 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 you've said that and you've not liked him. I, I was in the car earlier, we spoke about being on, and I said I like the guy. But I, I'm, if we lose today, I think I'm up for being on that. So I'm sick of it, and a lot of fans are sick of it. Come to the dark side. I think we've got a nine foot black man on the pitch. Is in the box. We've got we've got something phenomenal. Please. We've got it Boston. We've got Langstaff. Jetta, why have we got chicks in on? He spent more time doing his vlog and healthy eating than he has playing football this season. So it don't make sense. Robertson, a great player. Crowley, a great player. And again, it's just silly mistakes again. But Cameron's doing his old tricks again. I think you can tell within the back three or four. You never know. It might, most of the time, it likes to go back too. But you can tell we're missing O'Brien. Yeah. yeah, not O'Brien, sorry. Fucking Bolton. Well, I see, guys. So Mr. Bob. We're going to head back. A lot of them seem to go back now, but 1 0 down, Salford. We should be beating these. We beat them 2 0, but we'll see where we are at the end of the game. And I guarantee it's close to the bottom of the table. Come on, you guys. May not that. <laughs> Uh, about four minutes into the second half, first yellow card has gone to Salford. The yellow card's been coming. Um, we've got a free kick. The question is, will we make anything of it? Not as kind of normally don't, but we'll see. Seven minutes in, Dots County is now starting to look a bit more threatening. Sutton and Salford, sorry, they're playing very frustrating. There's a lot of frustration within their players, getting a little bit dirty. Um, but yeah, 1 1, 58 minutes. Come on, you boys! One minute's in, pushing 18 minute mark, still 1 1. We look better, but again, nothing's landing for us. It's the story of the season. You know, again, 
we should look miles better than these. We should, we should be way ahead. But again, these lower teams, we, it's like we're playing on par with them. And I, I just don't know what it is anymore. Like I said, I, I just don't know what it is we need to do. But 1-1, one, one, 82 minutes in. 2-1, Salford City. Absolute shocking defending once again. That was, from my point of view, it looked like it was Cameron. Um, defending, defend, defend, defend. It's the same story. Salford have been shaked, and we can't play it. For once, I, I've. I did want him to be the manager, but I've liked him since he's come here. But I think after today, get rid, get rid of the manager. He's not up to it. The players either don't want it. Cameron, yeah. Cameron is a nasty, he's not a League 2 defender. The style of football that we play, I think that is the reason why we lose. Because it's the wrong style. The goal tricks on the attack, is anything going to come of it? No, straight over. They've just now, it's seven minutes at a time. Got a car in. I want to go with Jody Jones. So Jody Jones has got man of the match. Just added seven minutes in. It's 2 1 to Salford. Oh, it's changed it. Oh, they've now changed it. Man, imagine now Dan Crowley. So they got it wrong. But like I said, seven minutes at a time. The 2 1 down. It should be 1 1. This is where we should be fighting for the winner. We're fighting for a point. Lots on the attack. It's the goal trick. Tackled at last minute. But again, we're fighting for a point to a team that is. Yeah, um, um, no, honestly, that no good. Ridiculous. Right, so it the game ended two one. Um, I walked out early. Jack walked out early. Um, and I, I'll go first. I'll go first this time. All right. I've I've, I've 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 had enough. It was we we played. We was a better team by it in both halves. I don't think we deserved. I don't. We was. We was. We, we was better team. We looked, we played threatening, um, but again, the reason we lost again down to poor defending. It's the same story all season. Now, if in the vlogs and every week, I've asked: Is it the defense? Is it the tactics? Is it the players? And they're the reason we're losing. And they're the reason. Is it the management team? And I've come to the conclusion: It's two things: the defense. And the biggest thing is our style of play. We can't defend our style of play, and our style of play is not suitable for League Two football. And I've said it when I spoke to my dad, my granddad, and even in the vlogs. Every other team we played at Notts County, as soon as they get the ball, they have one thing on their mind, and that is to run to the goal and get it as fast as they can. They get to the goal within three passes. We must do it in 20, if not more. All right, go on, Jack, I can tell. I think when I was watching them, first 15 minutes of the game, I was thinking, this is going to be a good game. Yeah. It's going to be tough. There'll be a lot of chances. When it came to it, I was like, it's going to be a good game against who? You know what I mean? It's, I agree. They if are... it was like, this is going to be a good game against Wrexham or Stockport, yeah, it will be. But it's against who? Salford and someone said Salford they played dirty and Salford were rubbish but so were we but we shouldn't be you look at our players you look you know our assistants top goal scorer we should be in the top three in the league but we can't compete with Salford because of the style of play our style they can every team knows our style of play they know that Notts County are going to take 20-30 passes before they even get into their yeah. box um, and as long as they can close them down, we ain't, we ain't going to do long balls. We're going to take them 20, 30 passes to get the ball to the wing. Yeah. 
and I'm nobody in the box. Yep, and then it's going to be five or seven passes before they even think about crossing it in. And it's... You've got a nine foot Batman playing for us now. Like, he is literally a fucking tree. Yeah, I thought Jota had a really good game. Langstaff played awful. Um, go on, you know, I'll let you give us. So, from the players, who were your standouts? Who were your Jim O'Brien. He came on at half time. Did not stop running. He created chances. He had a, he had a shot. It, it wasn't a good one. Mm -hmm. But you could see the frustration in his face when he went down the floor and just started punching the ground like. But it's... I don't think anybody on the team actually played well. And it was like I was saying to you, I can't remember the last home game. Well, that's count game. Other than Bradford or Newport, we was actually leading the game. Or... I can't remember the last home win. I, I can. The last home win was Morecambe, and that was December. There December 29th or December 30th. I think and it was. we're in March 2024. Yeah, we've not, we're, we've not won a home game this season. My players today, um, uh, Cameron was shocking. Cameron is the reason Cameron's lost doing the game. Cameron things. Yeah, Chickson should have never played. I've I've loved Chickson since he's joined Notts County, and I think he had a great season last season. I remember but seeing him he, on trial at, against Hilkes at time pre-season. Yeah, I do, and anyway, I thought it was phenomenal. But he should not be in any near the storm. Just sell him, because he's, he's injured, he's not had the minutes. He spent more time doing his healthy eating, blogging on, on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, he shouldn't have played. We had Bostock and McGoldrick on the bench. And I said to you, why are you not starting the strongest of teams? Get three or four goals in. So for the near the bottom of the league, get three or four goals in, then maybe bring the chicks on. Then rest them. Then bring your own Brian on. You know, I don't get it. And like I said, it is. It's the style of play. Maynard's come in. He's tried tactics. He's tried formation. But he's stuck to the style of play. Maynard... Wasn't fit for the job. I didn't want him. I've liked the guy since he's come in, but I'm now ready to say, in the end of the season, get rid of him, get an old manager. I'm May not out. I'm starting to see McCoy Langstaff has a ball hog. Uh, he gets the ball. He <sighs> wants all he wants to do is score. What positions did he play? He play Langstaff played in every position today, apart from goalkeeper. That's it. And I think I'm really annoyed. Jatta was the far better striker in the 60 minutes he played. Yeah. Jim. And we subbed him off to bring McGoldrick on. He so did nothing. We, who is still technically injured. He's not fit. But then Mac isn't tell. fit either. It's like we just might as well we sit in the car, right? And there's some kids playing football. We might as well have them fuckers <laughs> on the pitch. I'll be honest, Langstaff played woeful today. He was in all the wrong positions. And I don't know who's told him this. You know, again, do you know what? It might be Maynard. I watched Maynard's review and he says, yeah, that's just great. He's work ethic. He runs, he comes back, he gets to the position. If he says keep doing that, it's the wrong advice. Like, it's... You know, looking back to last season, it was amazing. Huh? Welcome to Wrexham. That showed the insight of Paul Mullins, how greedy he was. Yeah. He didn't want to pass the ball. If things didn't go his way, we would have a go at guys in the dressing room. I'm starting to see that coming out of Mac now. With the fact that if he doesn't get the ball, when he wants the ball, yeah. he'll throw a strop, he'll walk about. He'll, make he'll get the ball, he will do nothing with it, yeah. and most of the time, lose possession. Or he'll have a shot from 20, 30 yards out. Yeah. Just to say he's had a shot. But then we've got then we've got five or six other players in the box. It's like we're waiting for the ball. Do something with it. You pass too much. He ran from the right side of the box to the left side of the box with the ball to pass it out to Austin to cross it in. Just for it to go out. Yeah, we we we, we play too much passing, too much possession football. It's not working. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to wrap this up. Hey, that sounds a long, long exit. There's a lot of frustration. Um, playoffs is 100% out of out question, of out of the window. All they've got to do now is play for pride. Um, and I, I, I think at the end of this season, a lot of players will believe in. They'll be, and 
I have a, I think Notts County now will fall back into the typical Notts County. Uh, we'll be relegation battling for the next few years as per usual before we went into the National League. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, again, thanks so much for watching. It really wanted, I really was expecting a win today, especially after Bradford. Do you want it to be here going, fucking get it! Celebrating. I wanted to no, go for a pint. No. I don't want a pint. I was in Benidorm yesterday. I wish I stayed. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe. Well it does help the channel. Also, may not have. Yeah, may not have.